dear friends and welcome. I am Lynn from Ellen J Goods. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Please forgive our tardiness. We had a little bit of a connectivity issue with Facebook. Uh, so I think we've got everything resolved and that's good. It's just the name of the game, right? Shirley's here with me today. Megan is on vacation for a few days. I wouldn't really call it vacation, but she's uh, she's away for a couple days with her family. So um, um, I'm taking over the comments, and, <laughs> and I'm going to try to create at the same time. So we are just so happy that you are here. I am going to try to find us. Oh, it shows that we're live. That's good. We're live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. So welcome, you guys. Let, let me turn the volume down. <laughs> it's so good to have you here. Let's see where we are. I'm not on I'm not on Facebook yet, but um but let's uh let's see where we are. We are a little brick and mortar shop. There we are in Medina, New York. And uh, we are smack dab in the middle of Buffalo and Rochester. So if you happen to be in the area, we would love to have you visit and um, stop by for a tutorial on how to use all the stuff. And um, if you're not local, we're just happy to have you join us here live. Uh, we're streaming live to Facebook and to YouTube, and you can always find us on ellenjgoods.com. So now that that's all out of the way, today we're going to be doing a really fun mixed media project. And so let's see who we have. I see Linda, Laura, Pam, Linda, Hooper, lots of, oh, it is a rainy, I think we've got rain coming, Linda. Mm -hmm. I think we have some rain a coming. And um, Shannon, thank you very much for, for sharing. Hello, Leah, it's so good to see you, my friend. Um, and then over on YouTube, we have 38 people watching, uh, but let's see where, you know, I am not good at this at all. Um, I know that there's a place for, there we are. There's Patty Hogan and Jane Brown and Lourdes and Lamb Living. Ah, nice. Um, Cheryl is here, and Wendy, and Kim, and Emma, and Denise, hello. Okay, it looks like um, YouTube is winning on the viewers right now. So, be that as it may, we are here. And you can always go back to rewind this. Hello, Kathleen, hi, Sandy. Yeah, they, the little girls probably could have connected me um, to Facebook quicker than I could have, right? So, hello Kathleen Knight, hi Kitty, hi, you're, you're watching from work, so am I, I'm watching right there from work. <laughs> so, um, wow, we have had a lot going on, so much going on, right? Um, as we are finished, wrapped up with the whole Christmas in July thing, um, I want to thank you, first of all, for your incredible support and excitement about our newest Facebook um, workshop, which is the uh, Seasonal Shadow Box. And I am just so, so, so excited. I did do a collection. Um, I'm not sure how to add it to the description, but I will put it in the comments and let me find it. Sorry guys. Oh, there it is. Featured on our live 87 and um I'm just going to put it right in the top comment here, one of the comments, and I'll continue to add that. And the same thing over on YouTube. I will add it in the comments. I'm so happy. You guys really get your chat going on over it in YouTube. I love that. I love it. So, um, what's uh Hey, there's Lisa. Hello, Diane. There's Betty. Oh, oh, all right. 48 eyes so far. Good. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, I have been, you know, I'm always on Pinterest. And I'm always 
trying to get some inspiration. You know, it doesn't all come originally from me. No, it does not. Sometimes I see the artwork that other people do and I'm inspired by their work and that's cool. Um, we, all, we all do that. And to be honest with you, I don't know the artist who creates these. There's probably a hundred of them, but they're a long, long plank and we're going to create a lady on there and we're going to paint and do transfers and a little bit of mixed media and I think a really really fun thing I imagine like a whole collection of these like Shirley was saying earlier it would be fun mm -hmm. to do like a whole bunch of these ladies all lined up and stacked up mm -hmm. somewhere it would be in your dining room oh my gosh it would be so cute cute Okay, so I'm hoping everybody can see me. Betty, if you can't see me, why don't you go ahead and refresh your screen and then you should be able to find me. So let me switch the camera down and, um, and show you what we're working on today. But boy, am I glad you're here. JR's been away for a few days and so we are, um, we're kind of getting back in the swing of things, and and it's been good. Megan's away. I think she's in central New York someplace. Adirondacks. I don't know where she is. No, not the Adirondacks. Okay. Somewhere near Watkins Glen, oh, I think. Okay. She, she and David and the boys all went for just a couple nights away, I think before the big boys go off to school, and um, just sharing some time together as a family. So, um, hi, Holly. Hello, Paula. Yay, I'm so glad. Good, good. Everybody can, everybody's got eyes on us. Beautiful. So, um, we are, um, I had JR grab a couple of wood planks from the barn. And, you know, he just magically was able to come up with a couple of wood planks from the barn, which is what I, I just love that. So, this one, I can't get the whole thing in the screen, but you can see how long it is. It's about three feet long. And what we did is we uh, prepped this by uh, just using some white paint. And then I'm going to be decoupaging this little lady right over it. This is a Mint by Michelle paper. Now, yes, we have discontinued selling the Mint by Michelle papers, but I still love them to pieces. And um, Woman in a Green Top, is still available. We have some of these smaller sizes and they're 50% off. So um, I would encourage you, if you love this transfer or love this project, grab one of these up. So um, I just was very inspired by her kind of autumnal colors. I forget who the artist is, but um, it doesn't matter. Today, I'm gonna become the artist. And if you decide to do this, then you will become the artist, right? Hey, Linda. Hi, Sarah. Sarah Peters. Hey, and there's Kathy. Hi, you guys. I know over on YouTube, you guys literally take care of yourselves over there. I love it. Hello, Calico Chicks. And there's Irma. Oh, my gosh. So many of you. So um, let's get this guy, this lady, um, decoupaged on here and then we're going to finish off we're going to create a skirt with her and we're going to do some transfers over the top of it and kind of tie in all of these colors together i was just in the mood to do something other than real seasonal uh, and before you know it it's like okay we do christmas in july and then all of a sudden it's it's like oh my gosh we're so behind on fall and Halloween and it's rush, 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 you know? So today's um, decoupage medium du jour is our decoupage varnish and glue by Pentart. And um, we have no favorites. We use all of them for different reasons, but um, we're going to be using that today because it happens to be one that I had out earlier while I was doing a little bit of filming of a tutorial. So, um, Cheryl, you know what I need? I need my spritzy bottle. So we're going to quickly get this decoupage so that it can dry. And we're gonna do a little bit of painting over it. And we're gonna work this pretty quickly. So I will spritz the back of this. Just 
to get it softened up a bit. And I'm gonna get her centered on here and lined up at the top. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, I'm cutting off her arms. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, girls? I am cutting off her arms. Uh, Brayer, I know it's handy. And we'll go ahead and brayer this down. Again, I am not concerned if there shall be a wrinkle or a bubble because you know what? That's that's the way we ladies are. I've got wrinkles and bubbles everywhere, to be honest with you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply this medium right over top. So I've got three layers that I'm allowing to dry all at the same time together. And that is gonna help to flatten this right out and suck those bubbles and wrinkles right in. Man, I wish I had something like that in a jar that I could use on my face, on my belly, on my... <laughs> There, there probably is such a thing, right? When I'm decoupaging in sections like this, I wanna pull this back to reveal that wet area. And that helps me to know that I don't have any um, gaps between my decoupaged areas that would create an air pocket. I'll give this a little spray. I had so much fun this weekend. I think this weekend here at the shop, I think I demonstrated like three different times about decoupaging on all the different types of paper and it was really fun. And and some ladies were just, these ladies were like, oh my gosh, there's no wrinkles. I'm like, that's right, that's right. And isn't that cool? We like it that way. So what is everybody? Hello, Karen Allen. Hello, Tony from Utah. There's Joey, Diane, Laura. You guys are all here and that makes me so, so happy. Do you know what a kick I get out of, we all do. We just get such a kick out of um, you guys taking a little bit of time out of your day to join us here. It really, really does make us so happy. It makes all of us happy, actually, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You have become such a, an important part of our lives, and we always appreciate that. You are you show up for us, and we love that. Big family. Yeah, we are a big family. That's right. So you know me. I am certainly not like I'm not doing you know my very best 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 decoupage work here but it's okay I want to get this down and again like I said I don't mind if there are some wrinkles or some bubbles most of them are going to flat out disappear when this gets dried hey Sandy how are you Oh, Sandy, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. I really do. It's a special part of our day, too. Okay. So that is nice and flat on there. And I've got that. Actually, with my brayer, I have um, picked up my medium that kind of squeezed out the end. And... I just use my brayer to work that around. And I'll I'll catch the edges a little bit later when I dry this. Okay, that could probably go in the sink. And so let's give it a quick dry. So I'm just gonna give it a quick dry with the heat gun and we'll come back up here again. Okay, so Let's, uh, I gotta know, who is actually um, preparing fall projects right now? Please tell me. I know those of you that do uh, markets and shows and, and craft fairs, like you're already doing Christmas, right? And so I get that. 
Um, but do you feel like there's just such an incredible rush through the seasons that, and I've talked, I talk about this every year where we just don't get a chance to really enjoy it. And I think that especially in retail, it's really tough. It seems like the deadline um, pushes further and further and further back. Case in point, we have a basement full of Christmas <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> Megan, Megan actually was uh, playing around with a new uh, soundboard thing, and she said she was actually thinking of getting like a bleep out. So mm -hmm. I'm like, Megan, I first of all, I would, I would not use any language that needs to be bleeped out, but, but she's insisted on, and that could have been a case where I needed one. Sometimes I do say, feel like saying a bad word. <laughs> uh, Tracy's been making scarecrows, witches, pumpkins. <gasps> Leah got her Edgar Allan Poe mint tint. Ooh, I cool. love that. Hello, Sweden. Be creative from Sweden. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Everybody's creating. But do you, have, do you feel like that? Like, it's just such a... Oh. Never. Yeah. And I think about, you know... It just seems like every year, as I, as, like every year Lawyer. that goes by, <laughs> as I get wiser, surely, oh, oh, I'm spending less right. time, yes. like, decorating my own house. Yeah, <laughs> I know you do. I know you do. This girl is the one with many, many trees. I used to do that. Not so much anymore. Uh, uh, Joey has done two IOD mold crafts for fall already, working on Christmas. Yep, Christmas, Julia. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, um, it. Everybody is is just preparing for the season ahead, and it's like because if you don't do it now, you totally like miss the boat, right? Cheryl Macedo, you have you started decorating your house for Halloween? <laughs> We a basement full of Christmas. Yeah, Miss Cheryl. And guess who's not going to be here to help with some awesome setup this year? I'm just saying. <laughs> I can't get into fall and winter yet, Karen. I know, I know. Summer, the seasons are go by so quickly here. They really do. All right, so I think as long as I have this kind of dried here, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on her lower half right now. And there you go. That's me. But that's what paint is for. <laughs> that's why we we don't do, we, we don't, um, we wait until our paper's completely dry before we start sanding. Uh, could you get me, I'm so sorry, right. like Tuscan orange and maybe just a little bit of chocolate brown chocolate or something that I can darken that up. I'm going to make that go away before. No, actually, you know what, Shirley? Yeah. I don't need it. I'm going to use transfer. Okay. I'm going to use a transfer. Right. But you know what? I got to say, though, I do love what we do. I love it. I love coming up with new ideas and um, sharing them with you guys. When you are happiest, when you are creative. I think you're right. Yeah, I am, Shirley. I'm always, and they know, these girls know, like when I, I'm like, oh, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, we've had a summer here in the UK. Is that right, Chelsea? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, uh, can't get, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Oh, you guys. Florida is just weird for some seasons. You know, I always wonder that. Um, I always wonder that for people in southern climates, like, like, and what do you do? Like, how do you do that? Like, because it's like there's such a focus on snow that, like, snow in the winter and snow for holidays and so forth. Um, yeah, it's, it's like, how do we manage that? 
I'm just going to use a little bit of ash paint and I'm going to I'm going to recreate this lady's bodice here. I want to bring her bodice up because we all know ladies when we raise our um, waistline to up under the bust it creates a longer leaner line <laughs> so not only do you yeah. get a creating session here you also get a how to appear slimmer and with paint and decoupage <laughs> <laughs> thank you Holly hi Elena <laughs> I do that when I dress tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh, yes, of course. And then watch what we're going to do. We are going to now, let me see if I can get this up a little higher. I'm trying. Little did I know all these years, all I needed was paint and decoupage. That's I'm right. Skinny. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Now this lady doesn't even, she has a waist, barely a waist, but... Um, and then I'm going to bring this down, and this does a couple of things. I don't have to repaint her arms. They're just kind of tucked behind her and off to the side. All right, now I'll get to the big brush here yeah, and fill this in. I'm gonna paint all the way down hope I have enough but if I don't I'm gonna be applying uh, transfers all over the bottom of this we're gonna to totally change the way this lady looks here I hope everybody can see okay I think you can I'm getting out the paint now to raise my bodice there you go. Bonsoir, Michelle from France. If that paint works for that, I'm buying a gallon of it. Since <laughs> Empire Style is uh, Cheryl Macedo's favorite. Cheryl, when is the last time you wore an Empire Style dress? When you were five? <laughs> or are you just saying in general that's, that's your favorite style of dress? <laughs> oh my goodness so I want to get this on here <laughs> oh Pamela well you know what Pamela um, I I'm gonna assure you that it's okay Megan is away for a couple of days so you don't have to worry about HR getting all up in your business all right <laughs> We don't we have to worry him. about HR getting all up in your business. We won't tell. Okay. And honestly, I don't mind if some of that wood shows through because most of this is going to be covered and, and I want it this to still have a little bit of a rustic vibe to it. Okay, and then we're going to do the old-fashioned, um, you know, toll painting kind of thing. We're going to do a little bit of a shadowing. I'm going to dip. My, my paint brush is wet. I'm dipping in one corner. And I'm going to just begin to make a shadow here. Just to help to define the waist, all right? And I'll probably come over it with, maybe I'll do a little bit of black in there as well. If I can get to it, I'm right down to the bottom of my jar here. So yeah, ladies, it's all about smoke and mirrors, isn't it? It's all smoke and mirrors. I'm just gonna softly blend. I will add some other Uh, color to this as we go on but let's bring a little shape under here and under here and we'll work some more on her on this whole thing but all of a sudden now we've even given her a little more shape 
don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And here we go. How many of you were toll painters back in the day? <laughs> were you Shirley? I did some. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, I used to teach lessons with my mom. My mom was literally like the painting queen, the instructor here. She did it before anybody else did here in our little town. And I'm not doing a very good job of it. But that's what a paper towel is for. But I think that's better, definitely better. And again, we can come back and we'll, we can add more shading as we need to. She looks like a Jane Austen character. She kind of does, doesn't she? Oh. Barely a waist happens around 59 to 62 years old. It's like, please help me. What happened to my waist? Where did it go? <laughs> All right. I think I might hand this off to Miss Shirley, and then I'm going to... Actually, you know what? Let me let me go ahead and dry it here. Um, while this is drying, you know, you guys, again, we are so thankful for you showing up here. Like, you show up like twice a week, which is crazy. And I know that these videos can be long, but I do want you to know that um, we truly put our we love what we do here we love sharing techniques we love sharing ideas we love inspiring you it is it is so thrilling to all of us to get those emails from you and comments from you sharing projects that you've done and and just sh expressing your appreciation i am not kidding you it literally just it, it makes our day it really does I you know I I don't teach a lot of local workshops anymore this has become my my family of and this yeah. has become my um, my way to connect with all of you and I always appreciate when you guys are so kind with your feedback and, and I know we don't do it all perfectly. We are not professionals here. We are not, I always say, we are not highly polished. Um, <laughs> we, we goof up and we fix our mistakes and then and we have technical problems and we ramble on and on sometimes. But, but I can tell you that as a creator, yes, I do take this very personally. I know I should have thicker skin but there are many times that we will have we have comments that are left or emails or other types of feedback that are critical of um, what we're doing here that we're wasting too much time that we are um, oh, that we should uh, stick to edited videos that we should um they don't like our chatter back and forth and it's like okay okay that's what you can scroll on you don't have to watch as far as youtube goes yes it is a long time to watch but guess what you know what i did the other day i literally watched three hours of tim holtz i could have i could and i fast forwarded mm -hmm. a few different times where i wanted to um it's, it's all a personal preference. We have well over a hundred edited videos on our YouTube channel. It's not all live. We're, we're trying to accommodate everybody, but I can tell you that as a creator and as somebody who is, I am 64 years old, I am not highly technical. I wasn't raised like my kids are in this kind of a um you know the tech environment um i'm learning it all i'm learning it all myself and um on top of coming up with ideas and trying to be creative and show up for you guys um and so i guess 
yeah, it does hurt my feelings when people are make negative. rude are, or are negative. Yeah. You know, it's like our mama said, if you can't say something nice, don't this say don't it. say it. Just don't say it because, you know, I don't do uh, this, this right here. I'm, yeah, you, I get paid by, you know, you guys shopping with us and, and we appreciate that, but but it's like, I'm not on the clock getting paid. I don't have a producer, director. I don't have somebody else yeah. editing and doing all of that stuff. This is just me. It's just me. And, and I just want to remind people to show some sensitivity. Not only if you are commenting on our stuff, but on anyway. anybody's, on anyone's. I'm telling you, for somebody to get in front of this camera and offer free content, and can I say, this is free content, I don't charge for this, and then to be rude about it, it's just not very nice. And, and I'm not pointing out anybody in particular, this has been building for a while. Of course, the more, you know, Oscar told me how many years ago, he said, Mimi, you know, once you reach about a million followers, you're gonna get haters. <laughs> well, guess what, Oscar? <laughs> and I said, actually, I said to him then, Oscar, how on earth could somebody hate when, when somebody's just creating something and, and doing it just for fun, he said, oh, they will. <laughs> and you know He's what? Right. He's right. But come on, is that really necessary? Like, I don't know. I, you know, I, I just felt like I had to say that because it, it really has been on my mind. And um, I just felt like this was a day that I could share that. And I appreciate you guys to no end. I am telling you right now, someday this is gonna come to an end. I'm not gonna be doing this forever and ever, but but while I am, um, I just appreciate you guys so much and I love when you show up. I'm telling you, it means the world to us. Yeah, a keyboard, yeah, yeah. Civility does need to make a comeback. It's just, we, we hide behind this or feel that because someone has a public and I, I mean I'm not trying to say I'm this big public personality no 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 but but I'm out there a little bit mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean I can become a target for right. um, your criticism right. and you shouldn't have to be no and it, and it just kind of like makes me a little sad it really makes me sad that 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 is um, um, that's what people can do. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying nothing at all, you know, maybe just write it in a note to yourself and then, yeah. and then rip it up and toss it away. It's always best, like give something 24 hours before you actually say it, you know? That's, or like, again, like our moms tell us, if you can't say something nice, don't, don't say, uh, say anything at all. <laughs> because <laughs> cause it's just not nice. Thank you. Yeah, we can we can all be a little kinder to one another. Anyway, thank you for letting me get that off my chest. I really do appreciate it. And let's move on, okay? So, let's take a look. We have given her a beautiful little outline. And now I've pulled out the floral anthology. Um... The floral anthology. Mary, you know what? I don't know that it's jealousy. I don't think that at all. I really don't. This is just some leftover floral anthology because I loved the colors that are in it. Um, and and I love um, I love that it, they, it all kinds of kind of works with this mood that we've got going on here. So, I'm going to grab every bit of this that I have left over. Jean, yes, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, you know what, Tracy? Yeah, I do it all the time. I have people that I follow on YouTube, and it's like, yeah, whatever. I'm not interested in that today. I'm moving on. I don't have an expectation that they are creating content for me. <laughs> right? For me alone. It's, it's not their, that's not their thing, right? Um, actually, you know, do I want to 
give her I want to give her a belt so I'm gonna I'm going to actually just kind of work in a little more of a belt line here yes because we she does need a belt oh my gosh look at that already what a difference and I'll just bring some of that green up in here with these And I'm just gonna rub it with my finger and blend it in. Uh-oh, she gets her fingers out and then we're in trouble. Okay, so there we go. And you know what, and you know what, Barbara? They may very well have, um, you know, we all have stuff and we all have bad days and we all, but you know, I feel like there's also that entitlement that comes with social media that, uh, or, you know, the, the whole social media thing that people just feel like, well, they can say whatever they want to say, right? <laughs> so I'm going to cut apart all of this, um, all of these little bits here, and then we're going to start to arrange them. Anyway, I don't want to beat a dead horse, so, oh, I probably shouldn't have said that because then there's also the, the, the bots that would say, oh my gosh, shut her down. She's beating a dead horse. <laughs> right? It's so crazy, yeah. this world. This world is so crazy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be the case though, Shirley? Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Oh, one of you got uh one of you got a Facebook jail, I think it was Miss Cheryl Macedo, because of some saying that we've always said <laughs> that um <laughs> and it was like, really? Oh my gosh. Like you, really? We took offense to that? <laughs> and I'm just gonna start trimming. And let's lay some of this out and see what's going to happen to her. Here we go. Ellen J. Scissorhands. At your service because I want to give her a beautiful... I'm trying to see... I'm going to take this leaf out here. Boy, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'll go that way. I don't know. Should we take her bangs to the left or to the right? I don't even know. So that's what I'm thinking that I wanna I wanna do here is give her this and then we'll go from there. So I'm just, right now, I just kind of want to lay out what I have here, the scraps that I have, and see where I'm going to go with them. I definitely want to begin to shape a little bit of a waist here. So, um, and this already follows the line that I created there. Look at that. So I think I'm going to probably use that to give that illusion of the belt and maybe go with this, and that will that will create her belt line, right? See that, you guys? She is just gonna be all flowery and beautiful. Boy, this is gonna be cool. I love this, I really do. I gotta take this off, let me hover. Actually, let me just get this here. Start her little belt line. So as soon as uh, as soon as I'm done here, I am going to oh look at that. Okay, and then I'm going to trim that tiny bit right there. Hey, how would I do that? From that direction. <laughs> um, oh, there it is. When you are applying transfers over a decoupage surface, 
um, you want to make sure that your decoupage is completely dry. Make sure your paint is completely dry. And, and so I dried mine with a heat gun, but honestly, in, in my real world, I would let this sit. I don't know, maybe, is this my, this is my real world right here. So yeah. don't do this. Let, in your real world, go, you know, do a load of laundry, um, <laughs> get back to work, uh, you know, do something. And while well, this is curing and drying completely. Oh, look at already. Isn't that so pretty? That, that's really beautiful. Thank you, Royce. Thank you very much. I think I saw a, a comment from Royce somewhere. And I wanna continue that look. So, and I'm just literally taking these pieces that are almost following the shape of what I already created. Yeah, I love a good, I love a transfer. I really do. It is our first love. Yeah, I like that. Our first love. I'm trying to keep all my scraps. And I'm gonna slice this right up the middle. Middle-ish. And take advantage of this whole piece on two sides. Maybe there, and then I'll put one up here, and then I'll fill in some other areas. What a beautiful dress this is, this is going to be, right? Oh, thank you, Lisa Lisa. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh, Carol, I am so excited about that shadow box class. And I'm sure, you know, if you watched the whole video, um, you know that I worked on that for a couple of years. And I kept telling everybody after our live that day, I'm like, you guys, I'm telling you, I feel like I just gave birth. Yep. It was so it was so exhilarating. And and even afterward, I was kind of like, I, I came down from it and like, oh, whew, yeah. I, I surely um, felt just like oh finally it finally happened <laughs> it finally happened i know surely how long has that box been sitting around and i pull it out every yeah. now and then and mm -hmm. like jr now what do you think of this and do you think you can do this and how can we make it this way and but i want to change things out without you know having it be complicated and oh my goodness and we worked it out and so that was really neat it was really neat Royce, I know you join us on Mondays. I'm so happy you're here. How about that new Royce Life collection of papers? Oh my gosh. We have sold out of a few. And um, so we're, we're waiting on our restock, but I'm sure it'll be here very soon. But oh my goodness. And we haven't even hit like fall or Christmas yet. Yep. my peeps over on uh, YouTube saying and doing your imagination amazes me yeah well Julia it scares me <laughs> <laughs> look at that Joey I know I'm telling you if you so you guys years ago um, you know I was a blogger for many many years and because I used to sew all of my own clothes and I did a lot of knitting and I had a very um, a wonderful uh, knitting blog and sewing blog, and I just loved it. And of course, met lots of great people through that blogging experience. But um, I met this one girl who, she had her own little business about how to, like she would do a virtual uh, thing, and it was Zoom, of course. Or was it Zoom? Yeah, it must have been back then. And she would do a Zoom call, and literally I was up in my bedroom, and just, she literally had me go through my closet. 
and was straight up like, no, you can't wear that. That is not for you. But grab a belt. I'm like, but I don't wear belts. She's like, I'm telling you, grab a belt. And she literally showed me how to make my wardrobe over with what I had. And it was really, it was really fun. I learned a lot. Now, do I still wear big baggy t-shirts that cover up everything? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Totally <laughs> Especially who said it that uh, what happens to our waist <laughs> after a certain age? Oh my goodness. Oh, but you know what, Jane? Jane Brown, we can create a waist. Just know that. Right. Get yourself a big fat black belt and wrap it around that belly. <laughs> You'll look like a million bucks. <laughs> And there for a while, oh, I was, I would buy belts and I belted things and I, oh my goodness. And it wasn't too, didn't take too long then to move to basically tent dresses and caftans. Because <laughs> they're comfy. They are comfy. <laughs> Chair calls me, he's like, he's like, please, not a moo moo. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. And so now we've got, I'm just going to bring in a few other little clusters. Right here. I'm just going to start to lay them out in ways that are visually appealing. Ooh, I am warm. It is warm today. Flora Anthology, you know what, Karen? I'm gonna tell you something. And I try not to play favorites with, with many things because I love everything that we use and, but I gotta tell you right now, I love this transfer. This is truly one of my favorite transfers. I love the colors in it. I, I love everything about it. And the engraving details are just so beautiful. Girl, this girl needs a necklace of some kind. We'll have to work on that. We gotta do, we gotta do something around that neck. So we'll just snip away and find what we can find. I'm gonna create a beautiful bouquet right around her neck. A little ring of roses. Ring of flowers. A necklace of sorts. Which will help to elongate her midriff as well. <laughs> and draw attention away from her double chin. <laughs> hmm. I think. <laughs> no, you have to oh understand. My gosh. It's not your, your double chin. You get that from your mother. That's exactly right. Yes, <laughs> it, it all comes mother. from it. All, yes, your mother's told you. <laughs> we never take claim for that. Oh. <laughs> okay. I have so many people who uh, message me also about, um, you know, this little thing at the base of my neck. Like I'm concerned, and and many people, it's with concern. It's your thyroid. It's no, actually, it's just a fat deposit. Thank you. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> and I get, I, I have been self-conscious about it, but now it's like, whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. Great. You know? That's funny. That's the way life is. It is what it is. Don't you love the way this is coming along, you guys? I do. It's really pretty. But see how I'm choosing... Kind of the the shape to follow along the shape of the dress, the neckline, the bodice, all of that. Perfect. Isn't that great? It's so neat. Give her a little rose bud there. I love doing this more than anything else. I think 
piecing together, taking these things apart, mm -hmm. cutting them apart, putting them back together. I love it. Decoupaging over transfers, transferring over decoupage, <laughs> just doing it all. Oh, is that precious? That is so sweet. I love her. I love her so much. She will be an inspiration to me. A queen. She is a queen. Okay, what else do we want to put down in here? I think I want to add a little more something. Something the way she moves. Oh, I love, love, love this. Oh my gosh, you guys can't see like her full, but oh, is she beautiful. She's so beautiful. Hopefully I'll be able to share um, her entire length. In a minute. Let's bring that from there. Oh my gosh, we've been so busy working on um, some fun projects for the new IOD that's coming. And yes, I can say that because uh, because the sisters already said, hinted at it. So, so I can say that much. Oops. Let's get that off of there. I use my thumb so much to like take bits of transfer off where I don't want them. Shirley, you are literally just sweeping these these scraps away. Like, oh my goodness. Clean it up. <laughs> oh, I love her. Look at how fun she is. She's so sweet. And I think I'm going to leave this black area. I don't want to fill it completely in. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's get up to her head here. And I really want to create this crowning, beautiful... Is that going to be the right one? Hmm. Is it? Is it? Let me play around with this a bit. I kind of like that. You know why? Because it kind of almost looks a little bangy. Mm -hmm. Like, see what I mean? Yeah. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're just going to do it. And then it brings more of that red up into mm -hmm. here too, a little bit more. That's the first one. What's that? It was the first one, it just wasn't the right way. No, no it wasn't. <laughs> These would make a great shiplap wall in your classroom. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? Oh, I just want to do like just a group of ladies and give them all names, you know? What should we name her? Flora. Hmm? Flora. Flora. I need a 
All right, I gotta fix that. Sophia, Jane, Frida. Oh. Our Sophia Rose actually just had a um, just had a birthday. Almost looks a little tattooish, right? Oh, I love it. I really do. And we can put the rest of this here. Oh, I do love this. I really do. It's so cute. Um, I will probably touch up. I'm trying to think. Maybe get me some cathedral taupe. Mm -hmm. Try that. And some kind of a little bit of, I don't know what. But yeah, I got to touch up right there. That little bit that came off of her nose. Meg, yes. Two pink cheeks, absolutely. Yeah, we definitely need a little bit of red, too. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful, but I gotta make her, like I have to give her some down on this side, too. Yeah, sure. She does need a little color in her cheeks. Is it? Ooh. Oh my gosh. I just, I am crazy about her. Oh, I am just crazy about her. There's the storm. That's just raining, it's pouring. Of course, surely. Sideways. <laughs> Here we go. We got some sideways rain coming. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to grab. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, I hear it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, she's got to have. This is brocante, and I want to grab some words here. Oh, yeah. oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> and I feel like I want to... I gotta give her some words. Oh, wow, Shirley. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Listen oh, yeah, to that. It's, it's sideways. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We are just about done, folks. Oh 
my goodness, that rain. If any of you watching that are local, boy, do we have a downpour happening right now. It's a monster. Yeah. It's more than a downpour. Oh, look at that. Look at the flow of that. That is so neat. And then we'll bring. And there's the lightning. So we have given her just a little bit of highlight and hidden some of this at the same time where I made a boo-boo. But I won't tell if you don't tell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, this is good. This is good. And that red, um, find a really soft brush. Do you love her, Becky? Oh, Becca. Yeah. Oh, I cannot wait to read all of your comments. It is pretty thick, but you know what? I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of that paint that I had right there. And let's give her a little bit of life. Um, just a little bit of. Oh yeah, look mm -hmm. at that. little color in those floral bunda cheeks. Give her a little on her decollete. And there she is. I think she is gorgeous. Now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to come in. I'm going to give her a little bit of sanding just to knock this down a little bit and then I will put a finish over this whole thing. But she's pretty neat. I just want, I want this a little bit distressed so that it doesn't look quite so like a sticker on there, yeah. you know? But there she is. I'll probably do a little bit of um, an antiquing glaze. I'll probably add Hmm, one more thing, maybe. I have no idea what this says, but it's pretty, and I feel like I want to get a little bit of wordiness going on, like down here. That'll be very subtle and in the background, and then we'll use that up there, just for 
a little bit of texture. It's all about those layers, right? And I don't even want it all on there. I just want Yep, just see it a little bit. Do you see that, you guys? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing up here, and that will also help to cover that little bit, um, my decoupage line right there. But I love that kind of in the background stuff going on. Oh, thank you, Annie. I kind of am loving the way she turned out, too. She speaks to the woman in all of us, doesn't she? Think my board might have still had a little bit of that sanding dust on it because I did not wipe it off and but that's okay I think we're good there she is you guys meet uh, whatever her name is <laughs> she's she's beautiful whatever her name is she is beautiful and check her out full length well try to be full length I don't even know if I can get her full length look at her <gasps> she's so pretty isn't she beautiful look you guys oh she's so beautiful let me try to get her up a little bit closer there she is oh she's gonna be hard to take a video a picture of yeah all tall and lean with her new her new silhouette her new shape it's all smoke and mirrors you guys all smoke and mirrors so thank you, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And we will see you Friday, I think. We don't, yeah, we don't do Wednesday. Last Wednesday I had to cancel, but um, yeah, you never know. We'll see you definitely on Friday. So have a wonderful day. Thank you all for listening. And thank you so much for showing up here with us and for all of your kind, kind comments. It thrills each of us to no end. <laughs> to know that um, we are all part of the same family. So have a wonderful day. Bye.